hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be showing you how to blend your eyeshadow like a pro so if you want to see continue to watch firstly the brushes that I'm using are of course my brushes from my De Marie brush set and I am using my blending brush to blend this eyeshadow it's not really an eyeshadow it's actually one of my powders from my De Marie powder set and so I normally go in with one of my powders from my De Marie powder set one that is close to my complexion and I put that in the crease and I just use my blending brush and blend that out I also go in with a darker powder and I also blend 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 next I go in with a blush from my Glamorous Blush 10 Color Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics and that is it and I went in with a pink one after that I also go back over with my blending brush blending is key guys blend 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 For the black eye base, I went in with my Pro Primer from LA Girl, one like this, and I used the black one. As I said before, my brush is from my De Marie brush set, and I'm using this to apply the eyeshadow primer. And I apply this from the edges, the outer corners, in. I wanted a bold look. So that's the look that I was going for. Yes. As you can see, I'm just here yeah, checking, checking if I like the look. Yes, yes. Over that, I am going to place a black eyeshadow, and this eyeshadow is actually from my Coastal Sense 252 eyeshadow palette, and this is a matte black eyeshadow. I don't know, I'm always playing around. I then decided that I did not want the look where you have the straight line across. So I went in, I went back in with the pink blush that I was using from the blush palette. And I used this to blend out the harsh line. Or the line of demarcation between the black and the brown and pink. And this brush that I'm using it is actually an e.l.f. brush. This brush is actually a blending brush. However, this blending brush is more compact than the De Marie blending brush. Yeah, so for this look, I alternated between the two. And you will see how it works. Like, they work like a charm. Like, they work like Yes, they do. Feeling myself. Yeah. Hey. As I said before, I alternated between the two. And here you see me going back in with a De Marie blending brush. And I'm blending that outer corner. I decided that I wanted the look to be a little bit darker. So I reapplied the matte black eyeshadow on the black areas just to make it a little bit darker and make everything blend and for me i love 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 glitter so i had to add glitter 
and the glitter that I added was the black glitter this glitter I got from the beauty warehouse in downtown Kingston the beauty warehouse is actually across from tasty on iron street yes I use my fingertips to add the glitter and for anything with makeup you have to clean up so for the eyeshadow you have to clean up so that's what I did and again it's all about blending blending is key so I went back in with my blending brush from the De Marie brush set and then I went back in with the pink blush from the BH Cosmetics blush palette using the e.l.f. blending brush as I said before guys blending is key there are different techniques to use when you're blending you can either use a circular motion or you can use the wind screen wiper motion and that's the motion that I tend to use a lot I love the wind screen Hey, 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 yes, the windscreen. Why for motion? Now, I went back in with my concealer, and the concealer that I'm using is from the LA Girl Concealer. And the reason I did this is because I did not want my entire eyelid to be like, you know, the dark color or the pink color. I still wanted my under eyebrow area to be highlighted so that's why I went back in with the concealer to clean that up and I also used a a blending brush basically but it is bigger than the other brushes that I was using before this one is from my Demary brush set as well I used that to blend it out then finally I removed the tape to showcase the masterpiece yes then to finish the look off I went in with a red lip liner from LA girl yep I went in with a red lip liner I lined my lips and I filled it in as well Then I applied a red lipstick, or not lipstick, a red lippy from my Karaja lipstick palette. And then the look was finished. Yes, yes, yes. And there it is. That was the final look. And I liked it. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, at Gloss by Jade. Oh, my Snapchat is Jade MUA. Everything else is Gloss by Jade. Yes. See you in the next video, guys. Bye.